Thank you so much for watching Tomofujita Music. And today I want to show you some how to play jazz guitar. This is a song called All of Me. And today you see what's happening. I didn't have a time to shave my beard. So, you know, I'm not really clean. <laughs> Just kidding. But I thought this way you can see my finger. And I'm playing here. Oops. Beautiful. D'Angelico. Do you know this guitar? Excel. Excel one, that's a call. Is this see the lighting thing? It's really hard. I have to practice. Okay, so anyway. Three levels again. The first one, root third seven. Three notes group of um chords. Second, triads, especially why don't we focus on top three strings? Okay, top three strings. And chord melody, a little bit jazzy stuff, you know? So I think you can you can see my guitar neck a little bit. So, all right. So the song you wanna do, uh, listen to all of me. The melody goes. I don't have to play, you know so song, right? That's already, that's a C triad. But first you have to really understand the chords. At the beginning, I just freely just improvise. And I think if you can improvise over chord changes, you can do it just like this and then any other tunes. But first you have to know chord changes. So like this style I like, like root third seven. So C major 7, I play like this, root, major 3rd, and the 7, you see, 3, 2, 4, 4, okay. Now next one, E7, root, major 3rd, 7, you can see three types, A7, from 6th string root, root, plus 7, major 3rd, always degrees important and D minor root minor third plus seven and back D seven this is nice A minor seven you see root plus seven plus three and D seven and D minor seven you can finger pick with F major 7, F minor 7, now here, C major 7, I play C major 6, E minor 7, A7, D minor 7, G7, C major 7, A7, D minor 7, G7. So, so right here, what you need to do, do third of 7. Now see, root third of seven, dominant seven, minor seven, you can play three types. Same way from sixth string, if you play A seven, A minor seven, A major seven, and uh, <laughs> I show you this one. Whoa, this is really old metronome. Like that. Very simple. I like simple stuff. Just one note, you know. So like that. Like.
One more time. <laughs> That's not good. Simple is good. So like this. So how much the uh, tempo? Um, let me see. Hmm, about the 56, 214. So like that, about the metronome, you know? You set up a metronome accent of 214. So this way, you, you can play it in a swing group. It's really nice, okay. So now, just this technique, Okay, so you have to understand the chord changes. Next thing you want to do is top three strings, figuring out C triads, perfect C triads. So do mi, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi, like that. Nice. E. So all you have to do is figuring out degree. So do mi, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi. I'm sure a lot of people are taking, subscribing my guitar wisdom. Thank you so much. And I'm going to add more theory section, more beginner section, and funk section, blues section. It's always keep going. I like that, you know. I'm going to work more so you will enjoy it and you won't miss anything. But you see, you have to study triads a lot of different direction. And if you want to learn that more detail, welcome to join, subscribe my guitar wisdom. But the here, I can so show you a little bit taste of triads so that right now top three strings, you have to understand sodomi, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi. So, if you change the key of, I mean, E, E major, mi so do, so do mi, do mi so, E, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi. The tricky part is D minor. You have to know D. Then you change to Major third to minor third. Like that. Okay? So, one more time. Right? E. A. D minor. E. e A minor. Steve Rebon. Everybody is try it. Everybody is try it. Maybe going down.
Oops. Heavy string. Lenny. So the beginning is really is a this is called six nine like this. So you know jazz so it's kind of jazz chords you know like this major seven this major seven here, but melody is a top root. So I just chose this one seven seven eight eight, and the root is here. Same pattern two two three three the position. You know this one. It's sort of typical, like you know, a seven root third or seven root and C. Very useful root fifth plus seven third third or seven root fifth. So like a melody is built in. <laughs> then here I play regular domino just outside little outside of you know B flat 13 so like maybe 9 so this is a typical flat 9 you know diminished application as a A7 flat 9 So like this simple E F seven E same thing. This is very useful A minor minor eleven. I use a lot. I, when I make a back intro, I use this voicing a lot. So the position is 7, 9, 8, 10. But you have to know the degree. Now, bluesy. This is D ninth. Do you know D ninth? Root, third, seven, nine, fifth. Slide up. Again, I can do this lesson alone. This is a B minor, A minor. 
So against D7, 5 minor, 6 minor. Triad approach. Right? B minor, A minor, B minor, A minor, B minor, A minor. Like a Ray Charles, you know? See, like that. It just sounds so much fun. Just so you just understand degree, harmony. It's not mystery. It just, it makes sense. It makes sense. Just simple. B minor, A minor. Z minor, try. Already, I'm just off a little bit. Go back to the track. Go back to the track. Where was it? Okay. So, Hideaway. Hideaway chord. So now this one, 10, 9, 7, 10. Flat 7, 9th, 3rd root. Typical dominant. Root, 5, 5th, 7, 3rd. 13. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page 9. <laughs> Job of 13. Jimmy Page 9. Funk. I don't know. Do re mi. This is difficult. So let's see where was it? Okay, so so Lenny, right? So the That's nice. Ta -da -da. So like this one. <laughs> There's so much over here. So like uh, root is here, you know. So you have to figure out what's this. Flat flat nine. Not just A seven. Flat 13, sharp 9. Yes, yeah, so you have to know slightly little bit more theory, like, you know, jazz theory, basic theory, you know, it's a simple. But um, this is a great song, so you, why don't you work on strumming, blue 37, little bit of triads, little bit of chord melody, if you like a chord melody. But, um, yes. So right here, please write your request or what did you think about this lesson? I need to know more because I want to add more fun jazz lesson here. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Thank you.